Alrighty then, slow internet today. That's why I'm using the avatar instead of the live video feed to save a little bit. And hopefully this comes through clearly. Successful Indie Author, 5-Minute Focus, Episode 222, Blockage. Okay, if you have a blockage, what do you do? Eat more roughage. Okay, euphemistically, but what, what I'm talking about is a blockage when you're trying to write. Get the little stuff set up because you need to get into your next scene or you need to clean up your current scene. And you can do that by, <clears throat> by working on the little elements within that scene. Maybe you work on just what are the sights? What are the sounds? What are the smells? What are the feelings that a character has on a scene? Just work on those smaller elements, then just put them all together at the last minute. And <clears throat> what needs to happen in that scene? Maybe just make notes like, okay, this, this thing needs to happen. Then uh, the, the table falls and then a new character appears in the window and just put a, put those notes together and, and don't worry about crafting all the pros at that point in time. You just want to get the initial elements of the scene that, so that when you're in the, in the zone and able to get the words that you can just flesh out that scene because you've already got the main elements, you've already thought through it, and that helps focus your mind. Maybe set up one character or one element at a time to, once again, to focus your mind on creating the scene and bringing it to life. Everything you're doing in your novel, in your story, is bringing it to life to help your reader uh, embrace it and feel it. It's how you make them feel. That's really what you're going for with, with your stories. And if you're writing nonfiction, this applies too. How do you connect with the reader in such a way that you teach them, that you educate them, that they, that they embrace what you're trying to show them? You either entertain or you educate, and it's best if you do both. <clears throat> How about writing a different scene? This scene's not working for me. So you block it, you highlight it. I highlight it in yellow. That way I know as I skim through later that, oh, hey, this one isn't finished. And then move on to a different scene or move on to something different. I was having problems getting words. I was only getting about a thousand words a day. So I wrote a short story. I wrote a 3,400 word short story in a morning. And then I got 1,500 words on my work in, pro pro uh, in progress later that afternoon. And then since then, I've gotten pretty good words each day on that uh, on my main body of work. But by being able to do that short story, it helped break it free, break the blockage to uh, to creativity, to getting words, because it was a different form, a different style that I wrote the short story. And I really liked the way it turned out. My uh, my insider team liked it. So I'm, I'm happy with that all the way around. You got to work on your body too. I'm a big fan of uh, being physically active enough that uh, your meat wagon that drives around your brain is is pumping like it's supposed to. You got the blood. You got the. Uh, you're getting some good air. You got good oxygenation in your blood, and uh, you're able to when you do sit down to work, you can work as opposed to just sitting there all day like a lump and not being able to uh, move forward. So I live in Alaska, so I can get outside. We can do great things, uh, enjoy the, the scenery, the weather. And even if it's extremely cold, it's still okay. You get that brisk air and it changes things, changes the dynamic. It says, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm happy with being inside and uh, cruise back inside and, and uh, get back to work. <clears throat> but there's always different ways to approach how you, how you interact with your environment physically, mentally, uh, and emotionally to get yourself set up for when you do sit down that you can get your words and break that blockage and get them down because you can't sell something you haven't written. And that's why it's important to break through these blockages uh, fairly quickly or in a productive way, like working on a different story. And then you can come back and, okay, hey, you're going to look at it and say, wow, this is better than I thought. That's almost always what I hear is that, okay, it's better than I thought. I had to do a rewrite. I thought of it last night, needed a major rewrite on my current story because I, I, some plot points weren't working. I'm like, this is dragging the story down bad. So I got into it this morning and I'm like, oh, God, I got to rewrite the whole book. I'm at almost 60,000 words. And I went through and I thought once I deleted the, the subplot that wasn't working, I was like, hey, this is a pretty good story. This is working. It's flowing smoothly. I took out the, the, the sea anchor and all of a sudden, hey, this is a nice piece of work. So, and it only took me about two hours to, to get through it and get back on track with uh, 
uh, moving on. Break that blockage. Keep moving forward because you can't sell what you don't have. Be results oriented and look for that end product. But you got to get there in a, in a good way, in a healthy way, and in a way that you're satisfied with the words you've got down. Good enough. Do they have to be great? Try to make them great. But sometimes good enough is good enough because trying to get that extra little bit could be even worse than trying to get them in the first place. And will they change the reader perspective? I suggest that probably not. Anyway, there you go. Uh, removing that blockage and keep moving forward. All right, everybody. Peace, fellow humans. And I am drinking coffee, by the way. <laughs>